Now we're going to show you how to set the Cape York up, folks. It's nice and easy. First, we're going to start with the boat loader. I've got Steve here that's going to give me a hand. So you can do it by yourself, but easier with two people. First step to undoing your boat loader is your over centre catches here. Remembering the little spring loaded clip, simply undo them, get them out of the way. We move to the other side now. Now we're opening up the boat loader, folks. Just bring it back towards you. It's nice and easy, very straightforward. Sliding the security pin through, and then don't forget your safety clip as well. Push that on and in, that's sitting there ready to go. You've got the lead out of the box now, folks. With your solar panel at the top there, you plug the Anderson plugs in together. So one in there, and you've got another one under your camper trailer just see. So plug that in, and that permanently powers your solar panel power right through into your camper trailer. Now, undoing the two barrel bolts at the top there, so that'll make your, your um, solar panel come loose. That's it, ready to go. You get your pole just there. So you hook your pole into the top. So get that into your solar panel up there. Stand it up to whatever angle you need. Undo the C-clip there. Stick it on your loader. Adjust it to wherever you need to be. It's as simple as that. All right, now we're going to undo the, um, the rack at the top here. So grab your pin, slide it back, lock it in the open position. Get your over center catch, take that off, and up it goes nice and easy. Just stand at the back here, folks. It's not heavy. You can do this part by yourself. Over you go. Just leave it sit there for now, ready for the top to be unlocked. All right, folks, now we're going to open the top up. Now, you can do it with the winch, winch them open and winch them closed, but it's just as easy to do it by yourself. So unclip your over centre catches, nice and easy. you find the top will pop up, just like that. So as you do it, just hang on to your lid, make it nice and easy. Down we go, that's the hard part done. All right, now we're gonna push the main part of the tent open. So we're gonna go inside, Steve's gonna push this main bar open. You've got your unlocking nuts again. So once you've unlocked both of them, push the center one up first. That's the easiest one to do. It helps torque the tent up. So up we go, nice and easy. So that's that one done. Now we go to the front. Now with the side of the tent open, you can do it very easily. Again, unlock your little locking nuts, push the front out, lock them in position, we're just about there. So push it up at the back there, you lock your nuts into position, and there you go, main tent part is up, takes no time at all. Here you got Steve putting in one of the C2C -C spreaders. Just helps support that end canvas wall there, makes it nice and tidy. Really does torque that end wall up. So as you can see, just a bit more adjustment on there to get it nice and tight. Slide them in and that's all you need to do. All right, now we're gonna start erecting the framework for your annex area. So the first poles to go in, you notice Steve there is using the hook poles in there. So there's a little pocket up in the top of the canvas there. So you slide that pole through the pocket and inside your bar area, you'll find a little hole right on the curvature of your bar. So you hook that into the hole nice and easy and just let them hang there until we're ready to put the rest of it up. All right, we've got a little pole work for our um, annex laid out on the ground here in a basic framework. So as you got the um, annex roof up there, it's zipped on already, so just roll the canvas down. We're gonna grab that centre ridge pole and your poles are right there ready to go. So while you've got that bar at a 45 degree angle, folks, best thing to do is adjust it out so that canvas is nice and, taut, nice and taut. That way you're not right up there later on when we've got it adjusted up trying to do it then. So adjust your pole out. Swing that around. And again, like all MDC annexes, you'll find your little bungee cord there. Grab that, find the hole that it goes in. Pocket, pop it in there. That way, if it is windy, that annex isn't going to fly off the top there. It's secured. It's ready to go. Yep. 
All right, folks, this is, all of this is pretty much a repeat of what we did just before. So spreaders in, just a little bit of adjustment on there and just keep working your way down the tent and you'll have it done in no time at all. Alright, we're just about done folks, there's a few little bits of detail work and just a bit of finishing stuff, but that's how easy these go up. They're very quick, very simple, and before you know it, you've got shade there, you're just about ready to go. Alright, here we have our ensuite on the Cape York. Now the ensuite stays attached to the Cape York, you don't need to take it off, they're very, very simple to put up. So the pole framework is very, very easy. So put your spear pole through there, adjust your leg out. Steve's got the other end of the spreader there. Just unlock it. Sit it on top of your spreader poles there. Spread that out so it's nice and taut. Grab yourself a rope. Hook it up. Tighten your rope up. It's just a matter of adjusting your floor around slightly. Sit your pole on your floor there just so it holds it out. And you get your ensuite ready. With all Cape Yorks, you get the Country Comfort Instant Hot Water System. Steve's got it here now. He'll show you where it hangs on the boat rack there. So you simply hang it on the little hook from the boat rack, sit it up there. Now you've got two hoses, so your cold water hose fits into your cold water fitting from the side here, so that'll pull water from your tank. So when you're running your hot water system, it's just a quick connect fitting, straight in. Also, you've got your hot water here. You slide that into the bottom of your Country Comfort. Put your other one into the hot water from there, so that way now you're getting hot water to your kitchen area as well. Last but not least, the long red hose there is for your shower head for your ensuite. Feed that through there. On the side of your ensuite, there's a zip in the side so you can feed your shower head through there, hang it on the inside, instant shower. Here we are, we're gonna put the kids room on. It's all a one piece room, so the floor and everything's all one piece. It's a standard inclusion on the Cape York. So they zip up and around the end. The pole work is very, very simple. It's a very quick room to put on. Now I've got the kid room zipped on. What we're gonna do, we'll show you the pole work. It's very basic pole work, very quick. You'll have it up in no time. So slide your end foot up into the little canvas pocket you'll find up there. Slide that out. Grab yourself your spear pole. Put that through your spreader. Grab your canvas, sit it up on top. And again, folks, now's a good time to spread your pole out. So your canvas is nice and tight. Lock that in. Get your spreader bar, sit it across the top there, stand your legs up. A couple of Velcros and you're just about done. Alright, now we're going to put the annex walls up. When you put your annex walls up, it's always handy to start in the corner. Use that as a reference point. That way your annex walls all sit nice and neat. When you're doing it, don't forget to take your little bungee loops off so you can get your annex walls up underneath. So, here's Steve here, he's going to start in the corner there. So put your annex wall up, Velcro it on. When you go along, make sure your Velcro is all nice and smooth. Don't let it bunch up, because if you bunch it up too much, by the time you get to the other end, you find your wall's going to be short. So make sure it's all nice and smooth, all in one continuous shot. All right, here we have the PVC floor for the annex area. Again, use your corners as the reference point when you're Velcroing the floors in. Very straightforward, just spread it out nice and easy. And start at the end of your draft skirt, Velcro it all along, all in one shot. Very, very simple.
There's your PVC floor in and done. Literally took us a couple of minutes to do. Just remembering, follow your Velcro along your draft skirt first, spread it out evenly, make sure it's tucked in nicely, sit your poles down on your PVC floor as well so it holds it down and you'll have it done in no time at all. There you go folks, the Cape York Ventura 10 year anniversary edition all done and dusted, up ready to use. They're very simple, it's got everything in it you could ever want for a camper trailer. So come into a store and see us shortly, get out there and enjoy Australia, escape with confidence, welcome to the MDC group.